So a couple days ago, we just received an update, or not an update, we received the literal beta for the new audio API. So this tool is for sounds and voices in our, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, games, experiences, whatever, it doesn't matter, right? So I'm going to read through this post and then I'll show you like some examples within studio, right? So TLDR, they're launching the new audio API beta. Um, there are 50 new instances, right? Which I believe, I believe most of these are just like remakes of the old instances, I think, but let's see. Um, yeah, tutorial place file. We're walking through several examples of Bloom, including voice input, multiple listeners, post listener effect, and in world microphones. Okay, so this this API seems to be focused on like changing uh, like the new voice feature, right? So you know how Roblox is adding like you know like mi microphone stuff where you can actually like VC with people. This seems to be all about that. So so in world microphones, I assume are going to be locations where you can walk up, start speaking, and then depending on your location, your like voice will get like filtered, right? Um, yeah, it's opt in. Um, because this is a beta. And then there's an issue. Okay. So yeah, so they're unveiling the beta release ever wanted to emit a single sound from various 3d locations. And as you can see here, we have something called an audio emitter with like a speaker icon, audio analyzer and levels. Okay. So there's one thing and then it's routing the, oh, that's cool. Audio analyzer. Oh, oh, this thing. Oh, okay. I didn't even, I didn't even see that. I'll be honest. But yeah, no, we have the audio player. So this is the audio player and it seems to be wiring the sound to all of these different items. So this, uh, these, the audio emitters will emit whatever audio is given to them. And the audio um, an analyzer seems to be emitting whatever um, audio is, is given to it. Okay, that's, ac that's actually pretty cool. So yeah, altering, altering players voices, that's the other one. Implementing a team chat or creating a functional walkie talkie. Our new API finally empowers the control, blah, blah, blah. So they're making new instances. But conceptually, these instances fall into the same three categories. Some that produce audio, um, some that consume audio. So I assume produce audio would be something like the audio player. Um, and I assume consume audio would be stuff like audio emitters and audio analyzers. Now, obviously, you might be like, oh, but like, what, how would an audio emitter consume audio? Shouldn't it produce? But what I'm understanding from this is that um, these, these things, these like streams, right, is like audio data. That's kind of what I'm assuming. So as you can see, this audio player is giving out a stream of audio, right? And then the, the ones that consume the audio streams are the ones that then do something with it, right? So an audio emitter consumes an audio stream and then plays that audio, right? An audio analyzer consumes a stream and then, um, you know, shows it as uh, an, an actual analyzer. Uh, and then, yes, yeah, some such as effects that do both. So there are some some things which could, you know, emit an audio and then play an audio. Um, wires connect these up. So wires, I assume, are a new, new, new instance. Connect these up to form a processing graph. I don't know what that means. The new API modular design marks a, a departure from existing sound, sound group, and sound effect instances. Yeah, so they're basically changing these instances, which is great because honestly, these things were fairly old. Um, while the older API will remain active, the new API enables a suit of features that were previously impossible, like treating voice the same way as any other audio source. Uh, special audio, special audio. Yeah, please read this post. Okay, so let's see. Before we begin, you must enable the new API in beta. Sounds good. The existing sound uh, instance functions as a file player, however, it prints to a pertinent attachment. It will also behave as a 3D audio emitter that can be heard by your listener. So that is true. Okay, so how it worked before was that, you know, when, when we would have a sound item, initially it would just function as like a sound that the player can hear from anywhere. But if you parent it to a part or attachment, it would be in the 3D world, right? So you could like walk away from it. And then when you walk away from the part that it's parented to, you would hear it less and less. Previously, to play the same sound from multiple 3D locations, your only option was to duplicate the playback. So as in, 
take the sound and just like copy and paste it to every uh, part, which isn't good because one sound is fairly like, I don't, I don't want to say performant heavy because it's not, but like you, you don't want to copy multiple sounds for your game. Like it's just, it's not efficient. So today wires make it possible to work with these three logically distinct components separately. So let's work up an example, okay? So we create some audio emitters. So we create some parts, you know, we, we actually make a part to act the speakers. For each one, we create an audio emitter instance. So there are points in the 3D space that broadcast sound into the world, okay? So these things are like, yeah, they're basically like speakers, right? Um, then create some wires. So create one wire per speaker, set their target instance property to the corresponding audio emitter. Okay, so target instance, seems to be the target, right? So uh, so that's going to be where the sound wave is going to. Because remember, like I said before, the audio emitter seems to be an item where it gets the sound and then does something with it. So that's why it's the target, because we want it to go to the audio emitter. Wires can be anywhere, but we'll add them as children to uh, of the audio emitters for organization. Okay, so you could add wires to the folder if you wanted to, just as long as the target instance is correct, it's fine. So yeah, for organization's sake, you know, just parent them to the corresponding audio emitter. Then we create an audio player. So inside the folder, set the source instance property to each, set, set the source instance property of each wire to it. Okay, so every single wire. Um, so the target instance is where the wave is going and the source is where the wave is coming from. So the audio player is what's creating the sound wave, right? So of every, every single wire seems to have a target instance property and also a source instance property. So for every wire, the source instance property should be this one audio player. And so yeah, they can be anywhere, but for organization, we'll add it to the same folder as our speakers. Audio players can load and play audio assets, assign the asset ID property. Yeah, okay. Yeah, notice it's time. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, so the audio player acts like the the sound instance does right now so we give it uh, you know the idea of the sound and then it can load and play audio assets so audio player seems to the one thing i'm confused of is can the audio player actually play sounds by itself or do you have to connect it to an audio emitter that's the, that's the only thing i'm a little a little confused about but it's fine step four create a listener okay so create an audio listener then create an audio device input. This can live anywhere, but we'll parent it to audio listener. Audio device input. Or no, wait, output. That's my bad. Uh, finally, create a wire that connects to the... Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm reading this through with you, right? So if something isn't making sense, don't worry, because it's not making much sense to me right now. Create a wire that connects the audio listener to the audio device output by setting its source instance property to the listener and target to the device output. So the audio listener is the source and the target is the audio device output. Audio listeners pick up their surroundings. Okay. So wait, <laughs> pick up their surroundings and record a signal that can be wired to other nodes. To render what the listener heard, we wired it directly to an audio device output. Okay. So what I assume, you know what, let, let me see this actually. Let's, let's see what, what, what the audio device output is. Accept audio streams to be rendered out to physical hardware devices, such as speakers or headphones. It provides a single input pin that can be targeted by wires. So the audio device output seems to be, let, let, me, let, let, me, let me check something real quick. Is, is the audio emitter only for 3D audio? Okay, are heard by audio. Audio emitters are, are heard by audio listeners. If we don't have an audio listener, would, would the player hear an audio emitter? That's something for you to test. Like, look, I'm gonna show you all the items eventually. Like, I'll, I'll go to Roblox Studio, I'll show you everything. The issue is, bro, my audio drivers are messed up, so you're not gonna hear any audio, okay? Um, but, like, this is, this is something to test out, because holy, holy moly, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know why I said that, bro. Audio emitters are... Okay, so... Okay, so audio device output seems to be the thing that actually plays audio for the player. Okay, so let's just go along with that in mind. 
So what, what seems to be happening is that we're, you know, we're creating multiple of the audio emitters and we, you know, we have one audio player. So it just takes one sound and it, and it wires the sound to every single speaker. And then what we're doing is we're saying, okay, um, we have an audio listener, which then we, you know, picks up whatever it, it actually listens to and sends it to the player's device. So the player can actually hear what's going on. Try it out. Audio player, audio player looping true, audio player play. Okay, so you still need to play the audio player and everything. Um, new instances. Analyzer. Okay, yeah, so that's the thing that we saw above. Chorus, compressor. Audio device input. Let's see that. Audio distortion, echo, audio emitter. Okay, we, we check that. Equalizer, fader, flanger, yeah, listener. Um... I'm going to open up a new tab for that. Shifter, player, reverb. Okay, so, so let's see, and I'll open up the new tab for player. Um, yeah, so most of these are just like the old effect, but renamed, okay? And probably improved. So like we had a compressor, but it was like, it was like called like sound, sound effects compressor or like chorus sound effect or like sound effect distortion. Now everything begins with audio, okay? So when you need to look up something related to audio, you use audio with the exception of wires which i don't know why they i i assume wires are going to be used for other things as well but if they're not then i don't like i don't i don't know why they did they, they didn't just name them audio wires but let's see what audio device input is and it's not browsable splendid okay audio listener yeah records an audio stream and then provides a single output pin um yeah so then audio listener actually outputs the audio. If the player is not one of these classes, the audio listener hears nothing. Okay. So, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Audio player is used to play audio assets, provides a single output pin. Yeah, okay, so the audio player will actually give the, the audio that it's like playing, right? Yeah, so is playing, loop region, loop region, a range in seconds denoting a desired loop start and loop end within the... Interesting. So you can actually loop a certain region. That's pretty cool. Yeah, get get connected wires. Play. Stop. Asset ID is playing. Loop region. Playback region. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I just turned on, you know, file beta features. And then you have to go scroll down. And then you have to click on... Uh, yeah, new audio API. So I'm gonna click save, it's gonna do like some, you know, reload of my game, so I'll cut to where it actually opens up the file. Okay, there we go. So now it should be enabled. So if I just look up audio, I'm stupid, boys, my bad. If I look up audio, there we go. So we have the audio analyzer, we have the audio chorus, compressor, output, input, blah, blah, blah. Fascinating fascinating boys all right so let's actually try this out okay so i'll use the same example that we saw in the um in the in the beta so they make a folder with multiple parts all of them being audio emitters okay so let, 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 let me do that okay um yeah part folder and then inside every one of those we add an audio emitter like so and then what else did they do yeah add a wire to every single audio add audio emitter like so do we, does the wire need to, okay, copy, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So then for this wire, the source is going to be the audio. No, wait, the target is, yeah, yeah, not the source. The target is the audio emitter because it's what's receiving the audio and it's what's going to be then doing something with that signal, which is playing the audio. Um, then we add an audio player, and we assign the asset ID. Okay. So add audio player, and then let, let me check. Zombie boss one, sure. Um, length is zero, so I'm not sure why that is. Let me maybe okay maybe maybe those sounds were banned for some reason. Um, the one thing I'm curious though is just kind of yeah, yeah audio device emitter listener player. Analyzer, yeah, we have the chorus, compressor, device input, but I, st I believe that, yeah, so we, we still have the old items, so we still have sounds, we still have sound groups, 
Which I'm actually, I'm actually curious right now. Wait. <laughs> will, will, this, will this work? If I make it, if I set it to playing. Let's, let's see. Yeah, so this works. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hearing the sound now. Y you know what? I'll try actually. Wait, no. L l l let, me, let me try two things, okay? So I'll set the Astra ID. I'll set it to is playing. Okay. And looped. So I'll do, I'll do all of that. And then I'll say, okay, wire, the source is the audio player. Target is the audio device output. If I play, will I, will I hear the sound? If I make a sound, if I, you know, put the sound ID here, and what if I copy this? So I copy it with the Roblox asset ID thingy. What happens if I, if I do it like this? Oh, now I hear it. Wait, now I hear it. Oh, that's so interesting. Wait, I hear the audio now. You need the actual Roblox asset ID, which sucks because when we copy the asset ID, it copies it as just numbers. Yeah, like right now, it's, it's not playing for me. So you need to, you need to put it into the sound which will then automatically convert it to a Roblox asset ID, which you then... That is so annoying. I, I almost want to try the whole pro... You know, let me... Let me... Okay, what, what if I just... Can I just undo everything that I've just done? Just br bring back my speakers? Can I do that? Because I, I deleted it all. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this, yeah, that works. Yep. I hear, I hear it coming from my right ear. And something actually fun to test out. What if I attach a drag detector to this part? Because th this part is, is is like the listener, right? This part is what's picking everything up. Ooh, that is so interesting. Yeah, yeah. So as I'm moving it around, like I, I can actually hear the sound like moving around my headphones. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That's why it didn't work. Okay. That's, that's so cool though. Yeah, so... All of this, yeah, and all, all of this is done with just one sound, which is amazing for performance. And I know you can't hear it, but like, it's this, it gives me, it's giving me this weird like audio 360 effect. Okay, so definitely, you know, open up, open up studio, try this out. You know, ex play around with the effects as well, like you know the new like distortion, chorus, whatever. Um, this was a bit confusing at first, but like now, now knowing that the, the whole root of the issues was just that Roblox is being stupid and not giving me the proper id you need you need it to be a roblox asset id which again you can if you just have the numbers you can put the numbers into the sound which will then convert it automatically and then you can copy that put the put that into the audio player and yeah okay that, that makes perfect sense i assume and is there anything else to know post listener effects yeah so you can Im implement stuff like yeah, reverb, stuff like that. Um, my, you can make microphones. Effects and analysis. What's known issue? Yeah, that's not the only known issue. <laughs> my mind didn't even work. But let's see. Uh, while the audio API and voice support um, fully into beta, inputting is crucial. Mastery functionalities. We are raw ears. We value your feedback. Okay. Um, I guess I guess the one yeah the one thing that I'm a bit confused about is the audio input. But I assume the audio input will just take the um, like the voice input of people, right? So when someone's talking, I assume the vo the audio device input will be sending audio that's going to be the player's voice, right? So if you want to get the player's voice, you would use an audio device input, which will then you know send off the audio signal to you know whatever item that you have. Now thinking about it, the audio analyzer, that's probably why the audio analyzer didn't work. Because the... I'm actually so curious now, like I, okay. <laughs> give, give me a second, boys. <laughs> audio analyzer. Wire. Audio player. And then if I, yeah, source instance is the audio player, and then target instance is the audio analyzer. And then we set it to is playing and looping. Let's see. Would this work? Okay, yeah, so the audio analyzer is a terrible feature that should never be used ever. Okay? But yeah, that's basically it. You know, go check out the dev forum, new audio API beta, you know, <laughs> experiment yourself. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.